So today we are going to be talking about the Civil Rights Data Collection, which is a federal report. Um, this is not one that comes through state reporting, uh, but we are doing some loading of data this year to assist in getting that um, reporting completed for you. So we'll kind of dive into that as we go. So here's our plan for today. Um, I don't anticipate this being a very long webinar. We may not make it to the half hour mark. We may if you have um, questions um, as we go, but we are going to be going over what is the CRDC, um, an overview of what the state will be uploading for data elements at the LEA and the school level. Uh, we will be going over CRDC reporting resources, overview of the CRD Resource Center, and then we'll have an opportunity for questions at the end. So this is just a brief overview of the CRDC. Um, this is directly from their website. Um, essentially, that this is this is a data collection of civil rights data uh, for uh, ensuring that students are not discriminated against based on race, color, national origin, sex, disability, and age by schools, school districts, and other entities that uh, receive federal uh, financial assistance. So this report is just ensuring that students are. Uh, treated equitably um, in school districts um, as we um, are educating them. So this report is actually a very large report um, that encompasses many, many, um, many uh, elements as we analyze race, color, national origin, those types of things. This is a very large report. So um, there are many, many elements included here. Um, the state will be uploading 1,045 school level elements and 20 LEA level elements uh, based on data that's been previously reported to us. Uh, most of the data is based on the October 1 report for the school year um, that uh, we are looking at. So in this case, 21-22, uh, we'll be looking at school year 2022. Um, so just to be clear, these elements do not make up the entire report. There are many elements still that the de that the department cannot report on. For example, you have to report sports and females and males in sports and all of those need to be done at the local level. So uh, we are loading quite a bit of your data, but there is still quite a bit that needs to be done at the local level. So this will not encompass all of the ele elements. Um, Paul, great question. LEA stands for Local Education Agency. So that is your that's your district essentially. Um, all right, so let's get into some of the elements that we are looking at um, uploading for everyone. So uh, this file was much smaller for the LEA, where there are only twenty elements here. Um, so I just gave you all the direct element. Uh, when we get into school, it'll be a little bit more paraphrased because there are many more elements that we'll be getting into. Um, so we'll be uploading your um, LEA identif identifier. We'll also be uploading your enrollment for your LEA, uh, your enrollment for non-LEA facilities, public schools in the LEA, all of that information. We'll also be uploading enrollment by age. Uh, so these children age three, four, five, we'll also be uploading non-IDEA, IDEA, um, and we'll get into your civil rights coordinator um, indicator, that's from your staff data, um, disability coordinator, um, all of that information will come from the staff report as well. Um, and then we have the um, LEA covered by desegregation order or plan. We're going to default to no. You are welcome to change that if you need to. Um, and so on and so forth. So these are all the elements that we are going to be uploading for the SAU level. Um, the um, this this data will be uploaded shortly, I may be already uploaded for you. Um, and then we also have our school level data for you as well. So once again, this is a bit more paraphrased um, because there are so many elements encompassed within some of these uh, that it uh, it's very overwhelming to look at the giant spreadsheet of 1,045 elements. <laughs> so I've broken it down for you. Um, so at the school level data for school and student um, information, we're gonna upload your school ID your school status, whether you're a special education school, magnet school, or charter school. Um, we are going to default everyone to no for that unless you are main school of science and math or you're a charter school. We also have a virtual indicator we'll upload for our two um, virtual schools. 
uh, and a justice indicator for our two exceptions uh, who are um, our justice schools as well. We will also upload your student enrollments uh, per grade level. So that will come from the SY 2022 October 1 report. That's your that was reported in 2021. Um, so that's your um, October 2021 report. Um, demographics, we can upload your service, um, demographic and service grade level enrollment. So that's IDEA, special education, uh, race, race and ethnicity, English learners, 504 students, and then we have gifted and talented. So we'll be able to upload all of that information based on that October 1 report. We'll be loading that into the CRDC. And then we also have our demographic and service um, for student retention by grade level. So this is a comparison between the 2022 report and the 2021 report. So you may see um, some of these, you may see some discrepancies depending on what data you're looking at for reporting. If you're looking at the end of the year, um, you may have different numbers than what you'll be seeing once it's loaded into the report. So just be aware of that, that there is a point in time data collection that this is looking at. So um, if, if your numbers are not aligning with what was reported in October of 2021, you're going to see dis differences in the numbers that are reported, and you can overwrite those if you need to. Other school data elements, um, we have some staff data that we'll be uploading. So we'll upload your total teacher FTE. Uh, that's based on your staff December snapshot for SY 2022, so December of 2021. Um, and then we have uh, certified teachers um, will upload information about whether or not they were certified or not certified. Subject matter, we will also be uploading. Um, so based on the uh, courses that were entered for your teachers, we will be able to report on the subjects that they were teaching in your schools. Uh, we have FTE of first year or second year teachers as well, and um, whether or not the teacher taught in the previous school year. Uh, we have another, we ha there's also a larger um, subject subsection with multiple elements of additional staff members. So we'll upload your school counselors, nurses, psychologists, social workers, law enforcement officers, and your security guards. Once again, that is based on the uh, December snapshot for 2021. Um, the previous school year one is the only one that's a comparison between 2021 and 2020, um, SY 2022 and SY 2021. So um, you'll see that that might be a smaller number. The last section that we will be uploading, I did have a question about this one on Friday. So I'm happy to say, yes, we are uploading um, some school data for behavior. So we will be uploading expulsions and suspensions, uh, whether it was a single event, multiple events, um, based on race and ethnicity, 504 plans, IDEA, English learners, uh, we'll be filling in all of that detail as well. Um, based on your end of year behavior snapshot for SY 2022. And then um, we'll, we also have um, many offenses that will be defaulted to zero or no. Um, robbery, physical attack, um, or fight, threats of physical attack, firearm, explosive possession, um, and rape, attempted rape, sexual assault, or homicide. We do not have that data necessarily, so we will be defaulting all of those to no. If you did have one of those incidents within your school, please make sure that you change it to um, what it needs to be updated to. I'm going to just take a moment here to review some questions. It looks like Kim has been answering a few things here. So there is um, currently, uh, we are uploading all of the data this week so that you have access to it um, next week. So I'll just actually go to the next slide to answer that question. Um, so Maine DOE has access this week to update, upload all the information uh, that you just saw. Um, we'll be uploading that hopefully today. It should be in there. So you should have it by, um, by the time that the report opens on December 11th, uh, which is next Monday. Um, so we are not giving the files to districts to upload. We will be uploading them ourselves. Uh, we just don't have the capacity to send out the files to districts to have them upload. Um, so we are managing that at this moment.
So the um, clarifying question um, about CRDC 2122, are we uploading October 21 data? Yes, that data will be the October 21 report um, to that will that will be reflected for all of your student enrollment counts, all of your uh, grade level counts, all of those will be based on that October 21 report. So SY22 is the 21-22 school year. December snapshot report is a staff report. Um, it's the staff certification report that's due in November. Um, the, Oct the EPS team takes that snapshot on December 2nd. So that is where that data is coming from. So your report that's submitted for um, end of, that's due in October on the 30th actually gets that snapshot. That's why it's frozen for that month of November. Uh, we take that snapshot on December 2nd. So that's, um, that's where that data is coming from. We do not currently have an opt out option. Uh, we are uploading all of this data, I believe, as we speak, it's being uploaded. Um, so it's it's all being it's all going in right now. So one yes, and a great, great clarifying, great clarification there, Joseph. Um, the what, once we enter the data in there, you're welcome to go in and change any of it that's in there. Um, all of the data can be updated just because we put it in there doesn't mean that it has to stay. So you can go in and make any changes that you see um, are necessary. Um, we do have another question about private schools. Private schools um, are not required to participate. There are no changes from previous school years. Um, if you're not receiving federal funding, you are not required to participate in this um, in this reporting collection. Um, the question about is this a one time upload? Uh, yes, we are uploading now and then we will not be uploading after the 11th. That is the plan. Um, and so anything that you go in and you update and add after the 11th will be it's all you so that's that's all on the district um so make sure that you know if you have any questions before you go in and make any changes if anything needs to be updated from the state level you can go in and do that um if you have questions about any data that was entered please reach out to either myself um, or kim hall uh, we would be able to help you Um, all local uh, local education agencies are required to complete this report. If you're receiving federal funding, it is um, it is something that you should be doing. So uh, we're actually going to go into a video, Don, about um, where you can sign up for these resources. So I'm hopeful that that will answer your question about where you can get that information from. Yep. Um, thank you, Joseph, for that point there. Um, sometimes there, the point in time data that we are collecting and we are reporting for you may differ from what you are being asked to report from a different time of year. So pay attention to those elements and what you are um, expected to report uh, and make any changes um, in that aspect. Each school needs to be reported separately if you're an AOS uh, with nine different districts. Um, so you, we are going to be uploading each school, so each district, so each one will have its own upload. Um, if you have nine schools, we'll upload to those nine yeah, different schools. So everything will be taken care us. of there. Yeah, the other thing is. Um, so Naomi, we do not, the spreadsheet that we have um, is not available publicly. Uh, but we did just give the synopsis of what will be included there. Um, if you have further questions more in depth, please feel free to give me a call and I can see if I can answer some of your questions there. Chapter um, Chapter 104 GT students are on the October 1 report in NEO, I do believe. Yeah. Um, please feel yeah. free to um, please feel free to take a look at that. Um, there.
All right. With that being said, I'm going to move on. So this report is um, where it is a federal report. Uh, the help desk is not going to be very helpful in this way uh, for reporting. Um, they know very little about this report. Um, and so we are going to, um, we, we kind of are giving this information away uh, um, to you so that you can make sure that you have information um, about it, but we are not responsible for this report. So please, um, if you have any questions, the Partner Support Center would be the best resource. Um, and they're open from nine to five um, on weekdays. And um, you can also submit an email um, on their website. So we'll, uh, what we're going to do now is there's a video that will go through the um, navigation of this website and some of the resources that they have here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll show you some of the changes that have been made recently um, that they do not cover in this video. So some of the things look a little bit different. I'll go through and I'll show you what's a little bit different. I can send the video to watch later. Um, there are just a couple of things that I do want to go in. Um, the answer to the question, there was a question about whether or not this video or this presentation will be posted. We are going to be posting this on our um, on on our website on the trainings and presentations tile. So I will what I'll do right now is let's try this. I'm going to escape from this here. And I'll just show you what the website looks like. Um, so the, there are a couple changes. So one of the things that they have updated is that the information that they were talking about being up in this gray bar at the top is no longer there. It's actually down here in the red. Um, so that is something that you'll want to be aware of as you are going through and trying to find your resources. So when you do watch the video, and the video is also right here. Um, that's the same video that we were just going to be watching. So it's available um, on this link. It's about five minutes long. Um, so it's it's a quick, but it has really great resources. It moves, it, but it moves at a good pace. Um, so all the information that you need to know, these are like the updates that they'll be posting um, from the um, like anything upcoming that you need to know. Previous updates will be posted in this scroll bar here. And this will give you some information about kind of where you are in your reporting phase. If you hover over these, there are also resources available that you can select to go in and see any of these. So these are all selectable. You can click on them. You can go into that specific resource. You have your calendar down here as well. And then there is a contact. I know we had seen a question about um, contacting. Um, so this is uh, the best way to contact them if you have any questions or any issues with entering any data. So make sure that you fill out all the information here. If you don't have access to it, this would be where you want to come in and make sure that you're um, requesting access. So they would be able to help you out on this um, contact CRDC email form. Just fill it out and let them know what you need help with. Or you can also give them a call. Um, let's see. The training videos are also really helpful. So if you've never done the CRDC report before, um, some videos about how to get started, those are going to be really great as well. Um, so, so we'll get into questions if anyone has any. I also included on this slide the link to the website. So once that is posted on the uh, the help desk website under trainings and presentations, um, you'll be able to select this. Um, link right here and it'll take you right to the resources page. So let's get into some questions. I do see quite a few that had come in here. So once again, the PowerPoint will be shared um, on the help desk website under trainings and presentations. So the information, once you have access to your report on Monday, you will have all the data already loaded in there. Um, so it, you'll be able to see what's been entered already. Um, I know last uh, the last I talked to Charlotte, she was aware that the um, when you when we uploaded nulls or zeros, 
um, that it was going to that it was difficult to override. So she has taken a lot of the elements out that we know we don't have. Um, so that should that should help alleviate some of those issues that you were experiencing with the nulls and the zeros. Yep, so we're looking at leaving some elements completely blank um, so that you are able to upload that information if it's not there. It won't show it as complete. All right, if anyone has any questions that they want to come off mute for and ask, please feel free. Um, it looks like most of the questions, if I missed a question in the chat, let me know um, and I can I can try to answer it as well. Um, but essentially that we're just we're that's what we're loading. And I hope that you can find any resources that you need. Um, from what I understand, the Partner Support Center is very helpful, um, very responsive. Um, so I'm hopeful that that will I'm hopeful it will be a smooth reporting period for you. <laughs> All right, it looks like we are having some people start to drop off. There are no questions. Um, I hope that you have a great rest of your Tuesday. Um, and if you have questions, please remember to reach out to Partner Support Center. Um, if you have questions about the data that we have loaded, you can contact Kim or myself. And we will get this to you as soon as possible. So the recording will be available um, hopefully by the end of the day. It depends how busy Matt is to get it posted. So hopefully soon. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, I once again hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see. We don't have any other webinars scheduled um, in the upcoming. So um, if we do have anything come up, we'll let you know. <laughs>